to set up private space on Google Pixel 9a, first of all, we need to go to settings. After going to settings, scroll down until you find security and privacy. And then in these settings, scroll down to find private space in this place over here. So let's go here. You might need to verify yourself by using the screen lock password or biometrics. Then we have the information how it works, as well as what we need to keep in mind. And then you should be able to press setup in the bottom right corner. Now let's wait for the private space to be created. Then you might need to sign into your Google account. So you can do that or you can just skip if you want to. Then we have the option to set up a password for the private space. So you can set up the lock that will be working just for the private space. Or you can keep using the screen lock. In my case, I'm going to choose a new lock over here. So in this case, I need to enter the pin code. Oh, we need to enter the screen lock password actually. There we go. And then we can choose what kind of password we want to have. So let's say I'm just going to choose this one. And once again, I'm going to enter a new pin code that is different from the screen lock password. And then over here, we can set up the fingerprint as well. So you can use a different fingerprint sensor. I'm just going to set it up uh, later. Actually, we don't have to do that right now. And there we go, we are all set. Now in order to find the private space, we need to go to our apps list, so the app drawer, and then scroll down. So, so over here, we're going to scroll down. As you can see over here, we have private. We can tap on this lock, enter the password for the private space. And there we go. Here we have access to our private space. If you press install, then you can install apps from the App Store that will be added to the private lock. So let's say I'm going to search for YouTube. There we go. And as you can see, we can install YouTube, even though I actually have YouTube on my phone, theoretically, it's still like separated. So this is like a separate environment. So if you go back, as you can see, now I have the YouTube app installed for my private space. So everything that we have inside here is separated from everything that we have outside of the private lock. If needed, you can tap on this setting icon at the top of the private space in order to find some of the options, like for example, the option to hide the private space. Uh, we can lock the private space automatically. Uh, you can switch from every time device locks to, for example, five minutes after screen timeout or only after device restarts and so on. Of course, you can also manually lock the private space as well. We can change the password in this place and we can delete the private space completely here. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.